Hey everyone and welcome to Pokemon Duel, the first iOS and Android game officially released by the Pokemon Company. So this game is quite a bit different than your general handheld console games that they have been producing for many years. This game actually utilizes tiles to compete against other people. Think of chess, except with Pokemon. You do have a leveling system as well as an ability system and cards you can play on the tiles when utilizing them against your opponent. So this does add a lot of different facets to the game as well as strategy that can be learned and developed over time. On the main screen, as you can see, there are boxes you get of different rarities after competing and winning battles against people in real-time PvP. You also get key fragments based upon win or loss that once you get 10 of them, will unlock a box similar to the ones below. Besides that, we'll look at their stats components of the game, as well as other ways to play besides general PvP. They do have daily missions that give rewards to help level your Pokemon, and an in-depth ranking system that as you move up the ladder you can unlock different rewards, of course also have bragging rights against your friends. You can also look at other people to see what they have, uh, and what you'll need to counter them throughout the game. So taking a step back, we will look at the ranking rewards. These are based on a monthly time limit, but these are just some of the things that you can get uh, when competing and getting to a certain rank. Now moving on over to the records tab, this gives you an overall stats, uh, a statistical page to show you how you've done, um, you know, what your favorite figures are, favorite plates, Everything you'd want to know about your own performance in the game can be shown here, which is really cool. I'm really glad that they added that to this game. Now moving over to Room Match. This is where you can actually create your own rooms so that your friends and buddies can join in and compete with you. Uh, again, game is putting a lot of emphasis into you know playing with your friends which is really cool hopefully they'll add some guild systems or something like that in later on as it is still early moving over to feature duel this is neat as it allows you to watch some of the top players in the game compete if you have any doubts about the ongoing strategy or the viability of this game, just watch some of their duels and you'll very quickly realize that there is a lot of strategy, there is a lot of tactics and things you can learn in uh, competing on a more higher level. Within the same screen you can also look at their own monsters to see what strategies they use. Some monsters work better together so you can take a look at that and what other people have already figured out. So again, now taking a step back and moving on to the next tab, which is quests. This is essentially a uh, PVE sort of map mode that you can compete against the computer and move your way up through the different towers of the Pokemon City that they have in the game here. So overall, we've already seen a lot of different parts of the game. Now we're going to move on to the training tab. This is where you can learn everything you'll need to know about the game. Uh, what beats what, how to go for the goal, they kind of just overlay the different strategies that are available in a very easy to follow mode there. Now we move on to the core of the game, this is your Pokemon figures that you can sub out and create your own team as well as creating different decks to compete against different decks as well from your opponents and different plates as well listed at the bottom there that add some more complexity to the game. In order to level up your Pokemon to give them higher segments of hit ratio, you move over to the Fusion tab, and this is where you can combine a lot of your Pokemon as well as some of the ingots and whatnot in order to level them up and get them higher. So now we take a look at a Pokemon in particular to view its plate. Um, you can see here that you do have the wheel of different segments, white, blue, red, red is the miss, some will have gold as well as purple, each representing a different dodge or attack. You also have the level and the rarity, you have the ability, the type, and then listed below you have all of the segments themselves. You also have the plate and the different things that the plates can do. This will help your monsters in battle by possibly adding some more attack bonuses or swapping or recovering them, anything that they'll need in the game. So there is some strategy to what plates you'll bring in as well. Now this is where the magic happens. This is where you can get boosters, plates, 
and exchange materials for certain Pokemon that you may be shooting for. You get this material as you buy more boosters in the game. Uh, so going back from there, we'll move to the base page. Uh, we'll take a click on the exchange coins. This is where you can sell some of your monsters for gold as well as sell some of your ingots, the gold one specifically, uh, for a lot of gold. This will be needed for fusion as well as other things with your monsters. So besides buying boosters and plates, now we'll move back to the main screen. Uh, and now, because we've gone through mostly everything you'll need to know from a beginner's standpoint on the main page, we're going to take a look and actually move right into a duel. This is a PvP real-time duel against other people. Uh, it'll randomly find you an opponent that is ranked somewhere around your own, you know, level versus skill. Uh, so, now that it found me an opponent, it's going to choose which one of us goes first. Unfortunately, I'm second here, so I'm going to take more of a defensive approach starting off. As the match loads, the tiles come in as well as the cards. I'll start off by clicking on some of his monsters to kind of get a view of what types of attacks they have, uh, what they're better suited for, um, as well as some of their plates. I will investigate as well by clicking on them uh, just to know, you know what he has in his storage for attacking and things like that. So there is some research component at the beginning of the game that you'll want to do. Then after you have some sort of grasp for their team, you're going to move your own monster in. Uh, I'm just going to take the left route here. Really, as I've learned more, I have gone the center route. But now for my second move, I'm going to move over into his left-hand corner spot up there. This blocks uh, monsters that he can bring in on that side. So I'll also move one of my Pokemon in on the right-hand side here and hopefully get up towards that goal. But the whole idea is to block off your uh, opponent's entry points if you can, surround them to delete their monsters, and then get to their gold as quickly as possible. So I can move up right here. I can't get on the entry point yet, unfortunately, because that is a two move monster. Um, you can see their move ratios in the bottom corner. So we're gonna both spin to fight. Purple beats white, and I'm gonna be able to jump over his monster that is part of what this guy has as an ability whenever he hits the fly. Uh, a lot of monsters have fly um, if they're flying type, so that is something he could do right here. Um, I'm going to fight his middle guy. If I do win, this will open up um, an opportunity. Unfortunately, I don't win, so he's gonna be sent back. That move is something specific to his monster that is not typical. Um, I wouldn't just get kicked off the screen under normal fighting circumstances. So now I'm gonna move my guy up a little bit, hopefully try to get either on his entry point or force his other guy to come off. So he moves his Pokemon back and uh, selects me to fight. Unfortunately, Giratina is a pretty powerful monster. He's gonna beat off mine. So now I'm gonna move in another one of my flying types onto the left hand side to stay away a little bit from Giratina and hopefully move in to force that two spot off of the goal. So now that I've moved up to this spot, I expect he'll probably get his Giratina over. So he does move there. He's gonna select mine to attack again. Um, 70 versus 50, I do win this one, luckily. Um, now I have a few opportunities to fight and try to kill off the guy on the main point. And so I could use a card at this point, but I'm just gonna select him to attack. Uh, we both roll and we both get 70s, which means that it's a tie, neither of us loses. I should have used a card to add an extra attack bonus when fighting there, um, but kind of just showing you guys an overall gist of what goes on. So now it's the opponent's attack. He moves the guy over uh, to kind of add a little bit more defense there. And then I wait to see whether or not he chooses to attack. So I do use the card this time. And I'm going to put it on my Pokemon. Like I said, the different plates add different benefits to your monsters. This one, I'm just going to select the guy next to the gold. I'm going to use the attack card on him. And I'm going to fight the guy that's still sitting on the goal. 70 beats a miss. White is always going to beat a miss as well as most of the others. 
And so this leaves the target open. So at this point, what he needs to do is move his guy over to block the goal. And that's what he does. So he moves into the goal. Now, if he didn't do that, I'd be able to move straight in and, you know, win the game right off the bat there. So I look at some of my different options here. I could switch out a Pokemon um, using that tile with a stronger one if I had one in the bank. I'm not going to do that. Uh, look at the different options I have. Unfortunately, none of the plates that I currently have on this team uh, would really help in that point. So I'm just going to attack them. I get a 70 versus a miss, which leaves the target open. Uh, he doesn't have any Pokemon that can move the four required to get over to the goal now. So this is pretty much a win at this point because I do have to come in again through one of the entry points. So those are them, that's the entry point. So he's just gonna forfeit. He realizes that he can't move over there because I have those two, um, one of which is blocking the goal. So when you win, you get your ranking moves up, you get key fragments, um, your league promotion, your monthly rating, as well as your beginner rating. So different facets there uh, of leveling up. There's the key fragments once I get 10, so one more win will open a box for me to use. I'm gonna move over to my daily missions um, and take that reward, which will probably be gold. Yep, 3,000. Um, and, you know, that's kind of just the gist of dueling. Now, there comes a lot more strategy, a lot more card types, a lot more Pokemon, Pokemon levels, um, where it can get very, very, very in depth and tactical, of course. So, overall, a really great game introduced by the Pokemon Company. Uh, did have a first few days of a lot of issues with their servers, but things are starting to level out now. Um, these are the type of games, if they ever do come out with another game, that they're going to be introducing because coming out with their normal style game would be in conflict uh, of competition with their handheld devices. They won't do that. Um, but other than that, if you did like this video, please like and subscribe below and I'll be working on getting other video guides and whatnot to you as this game progresses. Thanks everyone.